Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in this bonus bridge build episode, we are going to do some viewer requested additions to it. We are going to add vertical suspension cables and a few other details. So let's get into today's episode. <laughs> All right, and welcome back to Scarland. As you can see, I've updated to 1.7, and now there's snow up in my little tropical uh, Pandora land over there, which is kind of a disappointment. But like I said, we are now updated to 1.7, so I'm trying to kind of figure out what happened to some of the biomes are a little bit funny. And we're back to the bridge build. And in our last episode, quite a few viewers mentioned that I should add vertical suspension cables coming down. And I thought, well, you know what? That's a great idea. Originally, I wasn't gonna go with them because I kind of like the open nature of it. And I did a little testing, a little playing around with it after I watched the video or I watched the comments kind of rolling in and I read every comment and a lot of people really wanted them. And of course, I am a man of the people, so we shall do that. And I did a lot of testing to figure out what would make a good suspension cable. There is a lot of options out there. You can use, you know, maybe the cobble, you know, pillar stones that go up. There's um, the iron bars, which is a great option, but all iron in Scarland's being dedicated to the roller coaster project. So I found something a little interesting, and that is what I just found since I updated. What is this? What is this? Stained glass, and we're doing panes. And this is kind of cool. I believe me, this is this is gonna look kind of cool when we're all finished here. And it, I tested it out a little bit in my test world before I jumped on Scarland, and I think it's gonna look really good. So let me just finish that up there, and then we are going to tumble down. Wait, do we make sure we do we miss a piece? No, we didn't. Tumbling down, there we go. And this is gonna look excellent when we're all finished here. So what we're doing is we're spacing this out three blocks. So as you see, there's one, two, three, and then on four, we put that right there. We don't wanna fall over the edge like we almost did there. And we're gonna do it again here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then four on this one. So jump up here, there we go. And, you know, I try to, you know, as read as many comments as possible sometimes on videos that are a little older. I don't get to those, but on definitely the about two weeks or so, I always look at the comments on the videos to see, you know, what you guys are thinking about the builds because I build these for you guys. And definitely people are, we need suspension cables and we need them vertical. And I, uh, I put quite a bit of time into trying to kind of figure out what would look best and I think these are gonna look really good. Another concern was there was a lot of gray. Well, that's kind of the design I was kind of going for. This is a combination of about three different bridges, the uh, San Francisco Bay Bridge and the Golden Gate Bridge kind of design right there, except of course it's not red, but um, it's kind of designed after that and the colors off of the Bay Bridge. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then four right here. So we're just gonna pop them right there. Wait, let me just double check that one more time. So one, two, three, okay, and then four right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I was trying a few ones like uh, white panes, and those looked really cool at night. But in the day, they were they were a little they were a little it was a little much. The color just didn't all kind of blend together. But believe me, at night, that looked really cool. That looked really cool. And of course, we have our feather falling boots to kind of minimize our damage. There we go. And I think that's gonna look really good. And we're gonna add a few more details. After I saw that you guys really wanted these, and I thought, you know, what else could we do to add to the bridge? What could we do to make it look a little bit better? And let's see, one, two, three, and then four. And I thought, you know what? Off of the suspension cables down, we're going to add some quartz hooks that kind of go under the bridge. And I think that's gonna be pretty cool. And also I'm doubling up the bottom of the bridge. So there's gonna be an additional row of smooth stone, three wide going across on the bottom. I've done about half of it. We still need to do the other half. And that will allow us to put glass, or not glass, ice along here so we can run and get a little extra super speed. So it's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool. There we go. All right, I think that's just about good. So one, two, three, and then four is our target there. And I think we should just about have it enough 
for this. And then we'll do that again. So one, two, three, four, there we go. Perfect. All right, there we go. So we got that now. And like I said, you know, if you're doing this along with me, there's a lot of options. You know, you can do the, um, so you can do uh, bars, iron bars, which, you know, are a little bit resource intensive at this scale, but it looks good. It definitely looks good. But if you have a lot of glass like I do from the Mother Tree project or the Mother Tree um, glass cube, I have a lot of extra glass from that. And I thought, you know, just to get a little bit of gray um, stain going. Oops, back that up one more. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, at least we can kind of see what I'm doing down here. As you can see, I'm going to run that across there. And then off of the suspension cable right here, we're going to take quartz and we're just going to do this little sling that comes around it. And I think it'll look really nice when it's all done. If we don't just keep falling off the side of the bridge, because that's very dangerous. <laughs> All right, so let me jump back up there and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I decided while I was coming up here, I would just finish up some of the extra stuff so we didn't just do repetitive motions the whole episode. And as you can see, we're steaming away at the top on our last set of cables. And we were talking about choices between different materials and why I kind of decided to go with this one was it, you know, first, it's cool, it's new. So that's kind of fun to do something with new materials because I just updated to 1.7 less than like a couple hours ago. And so it's kind of fun to get that in here. And it just looks a little different. And I think, you know, I think it looks better than iron bars. While I was looking at, you know, both of them, and I was kind of testing them out. And it just, I think it looks pretty good. When you're going, when you're, if you're doing this like me and you're looking at some choices, try the, uh, the stained um, glass as the white color and try the, what was it? The, uh, Oh, just the standard glass. Try them both. See which ones you like best. And this is the one that kind of met my needs and my uh, likes of it. And that's why I decided on this one. Just the white one looks amazing at night. It just glows and looks really cool. But in the day, it just, it was a little much. It was a little much, a little obnoxious. So we decided to go with this kind of, uh, kind of lighter gray a little bit. And I think it just blends in just a little bit. Nice. Okay, so let's just eat a little bit. And we're also going to address the lighting on there. I finally came up with a solution for that. And there we go. I was just gonna do that and the bottom section for the glass off camera and just show it to you guys in the next episode. But when you guys really wanted vertical suspension cables, I was like, well, let's make another bonus episode and we'll get that in. There we go. And it's a good lesson, you know? You always, always look at for the best in things. You gotta look at it and say, it's awesome, but I think it can be super awesome. And that's where we are right now. So as you can see, it looks pretty darn cool. And why I decided to go with three spaces, I think it being a little bit closer, because I built kind of a half one of these bridges in my test world to kind of get an idea of space and stuff. So I got like half a bridge there. And um, what I found was having it a little closer together, it got a little claustrophobic. You know, it just felt kind of tight when you're walking down here. It, you know, it's just a little bit claustrophobic. And this way it's a little more open, a little bit nicer. And that zombie, no, he's not gonna be up there much longer because I'm going to light that place up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I hope I have enough for this. We are going to get out this. Let's see, we're gonna get that out, get that out. Okay, so we are going to jump down here and we're going to make these little cable hooks that hook onto each one of these pieces. Oh boy. Oh, that's why I never go on that platform in the, in the night while well, working on the roller coaster stuff. Never go up there in the night when that stuff goes on. You know, I put, in a, I put stacks and stacks of torches, but it's still just not enough. Okay, so we need to finish this up. So let me just grab out that. There we go. And then this will allow us to put ice down below the platform. So that'll be pretty cool. And we'll be able to run super speed and we'll be able to put the, also have the half slabs there. So it doesn't look like ice from the top. Looks kind of weird, you know, if you're on the bridge and it's full of ice and that, that's, a, that's a little bit dangerous. No zombie, no. Oh my gosh, he's a smart zombie. You're a smart zombie and I'm really sorry I'm gonna have to do this. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello there, you're coming for some more too, I see. All right. Meet the fate of your friend. 
Okay, so we're finishing this. If you don't get disturbed by Tweedledee and Tweedledum the zombies. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Scar mistake. There we go. That across there. And just about done here. And there we go. So like I said at the beginning, I look at all my comments. And when you guys have design decisions, you know you're like, you know, Scar, I think if you do it this way, it might be a little bit better. And I listen to those, and I take them all into account. I try to do... Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because I try to make this, you know, a collaborative thing. You know, maybe I help you learn something or teach you something in here, and you teach me something. It's just a kind of a fun little collaboration. There we go, and we'll put that right there. You guys challenge me to do better every every project. I'm like, you know, is that good enough? Is that super awesome? You know, you guys challenge me. Some things might not look as good if I didn't have that, uh, you know, added weight of. You know, there's a lot of people uh, looking forward to this, and is this right? Is this something that they are going to enjoy and they're going to like? So I love it. You guys challenge me to do better in each and every episode. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of show you guys my little idea here. Place that down like so. And then we're going to place two more right there. And this is going to be really time consuming, so I'll probably do quite a bit of this off camera because it's, it's gonna take a little bit to get all of this down, especially above water. And then we just need to do one more block right there. And then we're just going to cut in right there and add one more quartz box. There we go. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's walk over here. And as you can see how it kind of comes down and then hooks around the bottom of the bridge. And I think that, I think that adds a lot to it. it. Just adds that little extra detail. It breaks up the, you know, this big expanse of gray that goes along here breaks it up with some with a little bit of white that kind of acts as a nice contrast so we're still kind of keeping it in that modern coloring where we got kind of the grays and the whites so that's my goal is to kind of keep it in that in that kind of color space and i think it looks pretty good all right so just add that down there and give me a little bit this will take a little bit but we'll finish this up and i'll be right back we can take a look from a distance all right welcome back and as you can see look at that i think that is starting to come out really cool as you can see we got a little bit of mobs out here but and there's my roller coaster storage room down there we'll take a look at that in our next episode and once we start getting on this project here and yeah come on guys come on get some get some i always use this sword i never use it for anything other than my episodes I always keep this in a box and whenever we have a super awesome minecraft episode i always don the sword and this is, this is my working sword, but it is almost dead. It's, it's my episode sword. My best sword. I try to keep it around for all these awesome episodes, but it's almost gone. All right, so let's pop up in here. And I am finally finishing the last level here. I just needed to go get some more glass and just finish this up. Ice. Ice, Scar. This is ice. It's slippery and slidey. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to finish putting this down here and what this will allow us to do is be able to run faster in our sprint mode and we'll be able to jump jump sprint you know and we'll be able to go super fast and it'll be awesome i've added these glass um, super speed ice scar ice super speed tunnels underground in scarland i don't know if i've ever shown those before I just decided one day to build some underground tunnels and they have um, ice for the uh, floor and then you can you know run really really fast on them they're really cool but i don't think i've ever shown them before someday i better do that someday i better do that all right so once we finish this up we'll just do a slight modification to the tower and then we'll be just about done and we've got this project pretty well in the bag i think it's finally finally come out how i want it now to and I don't have enough ice. I don't have enough ice. Well, you know what? We need to keep this video rolling. So I'm going to get that ice later and we'll finish up that side a little bit because I don't want to drag this on. So we will just get this all finished up. All right, get this down and then we'll work on the tower. So I don't want it to drag out too long because I don't think my hawk can take it another second. Okay, there we go. So let me just put that down there and we are going to run up another layer of quartz like so so we're going to run these up here like this there we go like that we're going to need to get out some dirt there we go and that will act as our scaffolding and then we'll just pop up here real quick and we'll remove that 
and we'll remove that. And then we'll just go to, we're gonna thicken up this pole in the center a little bit more. And then this will allow us to be able to put glowstone in the middle without having it look kind of goofy. Because it would look kind of goofy because it would stick up part way and I don't want that. So what am I gonna do here is, let me jump up here. I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to place that down. And then I'm gonna figure out how to do this because I, you know, I was thinking if I put this thicker here and maybe if I run these like this maybe, there we go. And then one on the bottom like so. And I think that will work except for that one is a mistake. And I need to click, you know, hmm. You know, this it seemed easier in my head when I was thinking about it. There we go, place that one down. And then we've lost a few blocks we'll need to retrieve. I just want to get an idea if this will actually work or not. So let's just back up, retrieve our extra blocks. There we go. And let's look at that. You know, you know, I like it. I like it. I like it, but I think we can do a little bit better. Let me have a few more minutes to think about this and we'll, we'll, we'll work on this. I think we can do something, but that's not 100% what I want yet. So give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So there we go, I figured it out. So originally when I was just kind of putting along here, putting the glass down or ice, I um, kept thinking, well, maybe I would put up a pillar going up here and another one on the other side, and of course mirror it on the other side and then do something up here. But I think a simple way, and it would take a lot less quartz, is to run these stairs across here and then another row upside down like so. So let's jump up here a little bit more. We've got quite a little bit of a dirt um, modern sculpture going on right here. And then we could place our quartz up there and it'll be completely invisible. Nobody would be able to see it and it'd be super awesome. So that's what we're going to do on the rest of these. And it's pretty simple, of course, like I said, just um, run the these up and upside down and all that and it'll work out pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do, so let's see here. So what we need to do also is we need to remove this guy right here. So let's see, no, we're gonna actually keep that one there and we're gonna place that, no, no, that's right. We place this one here and then we're gonna cut those out and then place them like that and like that and it'll work out just fine. There we go. Perfect, and yeah, I think finally we've got a good lighting solution up here to keep this thing from turning into a mob spawner, and I think it'll start to look pretty nice now that we get all the final details on, and it'll finally look super awesome. Finally look super awesome. So I'm gonna need to take periodic trips down and pick up these quartz that I'm losing, because quartz are very, very valuable. Probably, what do you think? You think quartz are more valuable than hardened clay? I think so. Unless you find a mesa biome, unless you got one of them fancy mesa biomes in your uh, world, then I am out of dirt. All right, so as you can see, that's the design we're going to do, we just did, and we'll carry that all the way up to the top. And let me finish this and get some more dirt, and I'll be right back for a final tour. And there we go, welcome back, and our bridge I think is just about complete. As you can see, there's a lot of torches on here, I'm gonna remove those. And yeah, well here we go. We still need to kind of adjust the torches a little bit on here so they're a little bit more symmetrical, but there it is. I think we finally got it. We've got our suspension cables, we've got our ice down, so now we can go super speed. And I think we have just about got one super awesome bridge finally complete. I think at the last episode, our bridge was awesome, but it wasn't quite super awesome yet. And I think now, it is finally super awesome. As you can see, look at that thing. It's got those little uh, harnesses under the bridge. I think that makes it really come out well. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And thank you for challenging me to do better. And we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so we are gonna add some, no! What the heck? No, no, let me work up there, you horrible beast. Spider? Oh my gosh. All right, well, let me climb back up there one more time. And you guessed it right, we're back up at the top here at our mobs. No, there he is, there he is. Oh, I'm ready for you now, buddy. Oh, I'm ready for you.